Hi, this video is here to help you interpret dual bar charts. Dual bar charts are bar charts that show two pieces of information for each category. For example, this dual bar chart gives two pieces of information for each of the after school clubs. The number of year five children that attend and the number of year six children that attend. And all children can only attend one club. The key tells us that the blue bars represent year five children and the red bars represent year six children. Let's use this bar chart to answer some questions. Question one, which club has the same amount of year five members and year six members? We can answer this question by looking at and comparing the blue bars and the red bars in each category. The blue and red bars for dance are the same height. Therefore, dance club has the same number of year five members and year six members. Question two, what is the difference between the number of year five children who attend clubs and the number of year six children who attend clubs? This question isn't asking about a specific club, so we need to work out the information for each club first and then we can use this to answer the question. We can annotate or write on the chart as we go so that we're not trying to hold too much information in our heads. Let's look at the blue bars first. Eight year five children attend animation club, so we can write eight on that bar. Ten year five children attend hockey club. Eight year five children attend dance club. Nine year five children attend cooking club. And seven year five children attend drama club. To work out the total number of year five children who attend clubs, we need to add these numbers together. Eight, add ten, add eight, add nine, add seven, equals 42. 42 year five children attend after school clubs. Now we need to know how many year six children attend clubs. Pause here and work out the number of year six children who attend each club and then add them together to find the total. Did you work out that 39 year six children attend clubs? Finally, we need to calculate the difference between the number of year six children who attend clubs and the number of year five children who attend clubs. We can do this by subtracting the smaller number from the greater number. 42 subtract 39 equals three. So the answer to question two is three. Question three, which club has the most members all together? We have already labeled each bar with the number it represents. So now we can work out how many children in total attend each club. For Animation Club, there are eight year five members and seven year six members. So we can add these to work out that there are 15 members all together. Pause here and work out the total number of members of each of the clubs. Here are the totals of each of the clubs. How did you get on? Using these totals, we can see it was the hockey club that had the most members all together. Here's another bar chart. This one shows the number of adult and child cinema tickets that were sold over a week. Pause here and answer these questions about the bar chart. Question one, on how many days was the number of child tickets sold greater than the number of adult tickets sold? Question two, what was the total number of tickets sold at the weekend? Restart the video when you are ready to check your answers. How did you get on? The only day where the green bar representing children was higher than the purple bar representing adults was Saturday. Therefore, the answer to question one is one. For question two, you needed to find the total ticket sold for Saturday and Sunday. The answer was 600. Now it's time for a quick challenge. Look at this bar chart that's showing the average rainfall for London and Glasgow each month of the year. The numbers on the vertical scale have been hidden. If you know that the average rainfall in London in May was 50 millimetres, can you use this information to fill in the missing numbers? If we know that the average rainfall in London in May was 50 millimetres, we can see that the number missing from this box is 50 we can see that the scale is going up in steps of 50. 
so we can use this to fill in the rest of the boxes like this. I hope this helped you to understand how to interpret dual bar charts. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?